going on you beautiful clashers clashing with Barry here with another clash of clans video and in this video i'll be showing you guys how to use baby dragons to push efficiently in the higher leagues now before this video starts please hit that like button and the subscribe button down below for more clash of clans content in the future now before you start this this is pretty key before you want to do it because right when i got baby dragons i wanted to use this strategy immediately uh, but to save you a few losses, here's the tips to, that you want to do before you uh, attempt this strategy. So first thing you want to do is you want to get your lightning spell to level 6. That is, a, that is a lightning spell that can break every single air defense no matter what level. So that is what you want. Level 6 lightning, remember that. The next thing is level 6 balloons. Now you don't, this isn't required but it is really, 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 really handy because the upgrade and the increase of what they have is huge in damage and uh, health. So level six balloons, level six lightning. The next thing will probably help you a lot more than you would think is get all of your barracks, or at least three, to level 11 or higher. Um, depending if you're a Town Hall 10 or something, make sure you have enough um, enough baby dragons cooking to cook this at a quicker rate because if you only have one barracks this will train in two hours if you have four it will train in about 30 minutes so yeah you can attack four times with uh, max than you can with only one so I definitely recommend upgrade all of those things before you use this strategy now this strategy um, is really really good if done uh, correctly now you're gonna run into bases like this this base is completely anti baby dragons but you still got to attack it because there's good trophies and there's good loot so <laughs> never resist that but as you can see air, air sweeper air sweeper both going in the opposite direction and this guy does have a clan castle so watch how I create the funnel and take care of the clan castle so first off look at that this base is made to counter this strategy. Now here's what I'm talking about. Look at this, level uh, six balloons, they just wreck. I mean, look at that, come on. <laughs> that one balloon took out an archer tower. Doing the same thing on this side. Uh, I'll zoom out so you can see, but you don't have to spam your army, your, spam all your troops in. Baby dragons alone are stronger than, um, stronger than they are in a pack, pretty much. So you have two baby dragons, they're not gonna do the same amount of damage as one baby dragon. So right here, I place this far enough away that the baby dragon will still have the rage effect and my clan castle can help out. Now I'm creating the funnel right here. Um, I'm trying to place these two guys to distract the air sweepers so this middle group can go in pretty pretty easily, but unfortunately it doesn't work out and they just get ping ponged in the middle. Now, I pretty much got the town hall. I, I secured uh, the clan castle, they're, they're all dead. And now I'm just going for percentage. So here's what I do. I kind of wrap around the base and I don't spam your balloons like you do your dragons. You want to be very patient with your balloon placement. But look at this. Two baby dragons are so weak together. Look at that. They just take forever to break things compared to one alone. Just crushes. Now, you want to place one balloon on a wizard and two on an archer tower. That's the most effective uh, way to place your stuff. Right here, I just spam it all for the loot. And I could have kept attacking around got a lot more percentage but at the end of the day i got the two star and I, I didn't even use my king or my queen so zero heroes were used in this attack and most of these attacks i don't have my queen so <laughs> just the army is two starring really really difficult bases like this base was made to counter this strategy with all the the bombs outside and we still got the three star or <laughs> I wish, we still got the two star. Now I'm gonna show you guys a three star because, well, you guys deserve it. Uh, right here, this base. Now first off, there is an air defense upgrading and uh, it was a little easier, but just watch the funnel. The funnel is always the biggest point of interest when you're attacking. Right there, the air defense um, went down to the lightning and with two other buildings. So that lightning had a lot of value. And right here, you place the baby dragon, then you place two balloons. Balloons will walk in worry-free and the baby dragon will still have its rage effect if you place them far enough away. Uh, and right here, this is me just checking for clan castle troops. And if there is clan castle troops, 
Let your troops, your baby dragons you placed, just do their thing. They're going to die by the clan castle or kill the clan castle. Don't panic and spam all your dragons in right away. As you can see, I only have four baby dragons on the field right now. Right now, only two. And I'm, I'm just letting them do their thing. That was a bad placement on my part because then I stacked them and they're weaker that way. Look, these two versus this one. And he finishes a lot quicker just because that's... Uh, that rage spell when they're alone. Right here, coming in from the bottom, trying to create this funnel. You have to be so patient with this funnel. It is insane. And uh, it works out. <laughs> so this is pretty much ignoring all the mechanics that you learned at Town Hall 8 and early Town Hall 9, saying you just got to go once you have the funnel created. No, you have to be very, very patient. Take your time. And right here is when I, when I go for it all. This is when I do have my queen. And that is the main reason why I got the three star here. So I place them down below. Their objective is this town hall or this uh, air defense while my dragons up here are doing work. This does come down to the wire, mainly just because this air sweeper. This air sweeper has a lot of value. And uh, I, I, sh I, I hit the queen ability instead of the king. So already kind of a fail. But I think that was actually necessary just because the dragons were taking so long. Uh, it helps her get through that storage faster. Now, already looking really good. If this air defense wasn't uh, wasn't down, I think this would have been a 99% one star or a two star. But since it was upgrading, it def it gave me a small advantage and a, a good enough advantage to get that three star on this guy. So really happy about this attack. Um, as you can see, it's wrapping up. That air sweeper was really scaring me. I didn't want my dragon to get pushed into a black air seeking mine but um i mean it, it all worked out fortunately none of those were black air sweeping mines and my dragon would be dead right now if it if that wasn't upgrading so sometimes you get luck of the draw on bases and sometimes you just have to uh i don't know adapt to them and uh, see what you can do and that is a three star right there and i'm gonna gain 12 trophies and insane loot because you got to take into account the bonus i mean this base was just I'll take more of those, please. <laughs> but so that was really how you funnel uh, properly. And as you can see, I'm trying to push, but man, defense, come on, come on, guys. And then I have a minus 32 down here. Um, I'm doing my best, guys. I'm going to get back up there or get up there. I'm trying to get to Titans within this week. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but this base right here, uh, 10 trophies. This base is a hard base to attack. Now you're like, but another air defense is upgrading. Uh, uh, <laughs> true, but what makes this so hard is that there's an air defense, no matter what I do, protecting the town hall. So I, I see that he has a troll Tesla there, so I don't, I don't spam dragons. I just let that dragon do as much as he can and then die. And I'm like, okay. So I place it farther away. Then I place balloons in. Now I was a little committed with the balloons, a little too committed, and that is definitely risky. But I did end up getting three Teslas, so in the long run, I am happy. But this is the example, just letting all the things that I placed die down and, and then bringing that dragon to the bottom. You don't want to keep spamming dragons on it. You don't want to keep just killing your troops. You want to be patient, and it works out perfectly, as you can see. Looking good so far. I placed the clan castle and my baby dragon. And uh, that's what you have in your clan castle is a max dragon or level four will do and a baby dragon. And that will work perfectly for the final push, which is right here going in. Uh, the funnel wasn't as patient, but I could see that the funnel was being created while I was doing the final push. So I was feeling pretty confident. Air sweeper goes down and this funnel is just looking perfect. You kind of have to swarm these. And this is a huge example of a level six balloon taking that out. Uh, you have to swarm these low just because the air defense will always be on you. And all these bases have uh, their expos facing the air and all their archer towers. So this base was definitely ready for this attack, but it couldn't handle it in the long run. And I did this without my queen and without my queens or, and without my king. So 67% without my king or my queen. And I, I think I do place them to get some extra percentage. I don't know. Uh, I, I believe I do, but this is insane. Still haven't placed him, and I got 70%, 71%, and I do place him for extra percentage. I'm going to 
I speed this up a bit. And right when all those die, I place them down just to get some more loot through the bonus. And that'll end it right there. So hopefully this was uh, really informative for you guys. Uh, 10 trophies right there. Really, really good. This strategy hasn't let me down yet. So overpowered. And it costs elixir. I mean, look at this. This is the army if you guys want to copy it. And you also need a, ba a baby dragon and a max dragon in your clan castle with a uh, earthquake. Um, I think any level earthquake will work. Uh, but I would definitely recommend getting at least a level 2 in there. That way <laughs> you don't have to worry at all. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully this video was informative. And hopefully you can use this strategy to push uh, to leagues that is really, really hard to push to uh, as a Town Hall 8 or Town Hall 9. Probably a Town Hall 9 since you can't get Baby Dragons at Town Hall 8. Uh, but that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Clash on.